Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF bringing you episode 10. We're now in double digits of Let's Try Legends of Dawn Reborn. Hope you guys... Oh, did I hit play? I think I just hit it twice. Hope you guys are doing well and ready to check out more Legends of Dawn with me. Um, we're having a blast here. It's a pretty interesting game thus far. Way better than expected. Way better than advertised in the Steam reviews. Which I'm not too surprised about, to be honest. I expected that pretty much. Um, anyway, here we are. Um, we're going to try to return the fake Sangrel to Silmain today. Let's see what happens when we do so. Let's go, son. Welcome to the House of Velas. We offer many useful services to adventurers such as yourself. How may I help you? Here's your Sangrel. I expect good news. I feel Sangrel is returning to its rightful place. Glory to mighty Velas. It is here. Getting it was very difficult. Thank you. You've done a righteous and honorable deed. You're always welcome at my place. Uh Boom. 330 XP. He fell for it. Fake Sangro. Welcome to the House of Vel. I'd like to trade with you. You've got rings. Um, we have 28 silver. Lesser Dark Rider ring. Copper ore can make a copper ring. Okay. Very good, very good. So that quest is complete. He fell for it. Um, let's see our character sheet. We are working on that next level. Um, we still have two points left to spend. I'm thinking maybe one point in one-handed swords. Um, oink. And then one point left. Uh... Maybe arachnid lore to help fight the spiders. Let's go ahead and um lumbering. That's yeah, a point of arachnid lore, why not? Gives a plus four bonus to attack score per skill point when fighting arachnids. Nice. So there's our points. We didn't distribute our character point yet. Um I think it may be Vitality. Uh, let's grab a point of Vitality. Takes us to 30 HP. We're still cursed, of course. Um, don't know how we're going to solve that. But anyway, did we... Um, what are our quests, actually? A Secret Medicine? We need another Iron Thorn. Um... So we have to go back outside the walls and potentially grab an iron thorn. I mean, we can do that. Um, I don't know, maybe head this way. See, that's the docks. Should we buy more bags while we're here? See if we can. Um, Jelanus's bag. Five item slots. Leather bag used by rangers of the guild of Jelanus. It is light and made from soft skin. It can be used to hold additional items. We'll buy that. And maybe the sturdy leather bag, too. It's pretty cheap. Boom. Gives us 19 silvers. Let's use the sturdy leather bag. Boom. 14 slots. And the gelatinous bag. Boom. 14 slots. Very nice. Um...
I don't know what to do. Uh, I guess go get that Iron Thorn. Wait, F5? Did that save my game? Oh, it did. Okay. Very good, very good. Let's see if we can come out this way and get the Iron Thorn. Oh, Hellhounds are out. Wonder if we could handle one. It's going to take us out. Come on. Almost. Got it. 88 XP. A couple tooths. A couple teeth. Some fangs. Is this... It's Anora. We'll take the Anora. Iron Thorn should be around here somewhere. Another... Hellhound. Yeah, they're all over. So this probably isn't the best exit to go out. Dang, our faith... Okay, our faith still recharges slowly. Does this restore health? No. We can come up this way to the bakery. We haven't been up this way very much. Um, ah, have we seen this? Oh, our dwarven thing here is... We're going to have to go back to the main menu and reload. Our dwarven chronicle is a bit splotchy right now. Load the quick save. Gonna light up a smoke, guys. Hope you're all having a good time. And... Hope my intrigue for this game is coming through. While wow, we actually have to start the game over. Dang. Burr with me, guys. Just working around a few little bugs here and there. Uh, I'll pause it. Alright. Alright, we are back. The Chronicle is working again. Um, what did we just find here? Nothing. We already found whatever was here. Okay. Let's come over to do this too. Yep. Um, we should put all our keys in one bag. And we don't have the key anyway, but let's uh, head back this way. Head on up. See what's on the top of the mountain here. That the blacksmith and baker don't get along. <laughs> Wonder if that affects the quality of the bread. Huh. Let's do our usual rounds. We've got a silver key, copper ore, a rune stone, and a scroll of face. So the rune stone goes in the rune stone bag. And then everything else just gets gotten. Takes a strange key we don't have. Wow, he's got a big joint up here. Uh, chipped emerald, rakia, white widow's fangs. Let's come in here. Wow, there's a couple peeps. Crafting a spear, a nora root, Danian runestone. Very good, very good. That takes a key. Got another rune stone, so let's put it in this bag for more rune stones. And a pair of pants. 
a battle halberd. Wow. Level 1 damage 7 and a spear recipe. Chipped pearl. Nice. Mead. Strength plus 1 for 2 minutes. Wow, they've got quite the spread here. Let's come out here and check these barrels and stuff. Get this box. Uh, heals caster. A healing spell. We found it. We found it, guys. Let's go ahead and make a healing spell. Oh my gosh. Let's quick save while we're at it. Where is the healing spell? Right here. Heals caster. One per second. Causes damage to target creature. Okay, so we want the protection version. And let's see here. Maybe like that spell. Let's see if there's a cross though. That's fire. That's like a healing spell. Alright, very good. So, we're going to go ahead and... Oh, that's a good one. Um, let's go ahead and use... Um, this one right here heals cast to one per second, 27 faith. We can't create the spell. Why not? Oh, we have to make a name. Okay. Um, how about, um, let's look at the, let's see, Zvaron's Bliss. Vey's Command, Blessing of Varunaj. Blessing of Varunaj. Uh, sure, we'll call it the Blessing of Varunaj. Boom, son. Spell made. Let's see where it went. We have a healing spell now. Very impressive. Where did it go? There it is. We'll put that there for the Altanus T. Very good. Very, very good. And the spells and stuff go in here. So we'll put that in there. Sort all. Nasty, guys. I'm pumped about that. Nice healing spell. Let's talk to the peeps here. We've got Abril Munir. He doesn't want to talk to us. Hello. She doesn't say much. I'm surprised he doesn't talk. I wonder if that's a bug or what. Here we've got some Menorah. Let's see. Um, Asia. Asia Munitir. I'm busy. Go bother someone else. I'll take your stun rune. Your chipped pearl. A rune stone. A magic resistance, magic damage rune stone. A white widow's fang. And... Nothing in there. Let's come in the mill. Arpal Munatir. Got a moment, soldier? Yes, how can I be of help? I'm Arpal Munatir, the baker. I heard of your coming. Yes, I came by ship. Good, good. I know you're a soldier, but I ask this question of everyone I meet. 
Sorry, but I'm desperate. Do you know anything about windmills or the mechanics of any similar machines? What about windmills? Our mill is broken. The blades refuse to move. It's something about the axle, I think. But I'm just a baker with no mechanical skills at all. I can grease the gearing, and that's about it. Like we don't have enough problems with the food scarcity at all. But a broken windmill is serious. Can you help with it? No, I don't have that skill. Where's the problem, and why can't the blacksmith repair it? Yeah, he's stupid and stubborn. I asked him to repair the mill and offered to pay him. But no, he won't. Instead, he started telling me how I should run my bakery. Do I tell him his business? No. He has no right to give me guff. You are grown men, and here you are acting like children. Half of the villagers are gone. You, the other half, should cooperate and solve your problems, not fight each other. I suspect there is more to your story than what you've just told me, but that's not the pressing issue. I will go talk to him. The village needs bread. All right. Very good, so we'll go talk to this blacksmith and get this sorted out. So maybe that will fix the food scarcity in town. Did I look in this one? Yeah. Alright, let's go, son, to the blacksmith. We'll sort this out. We'll get this sorted. Little shortcut. Hope I can get this curse lifted. Blacksmith was bearless. You say anything? Good day. Okay. This is the blacksmith right here. Yep. Quick save. Um, windmill. Hello, stranger. What brings you here? Hey there, Master Blacksmith. You know, when a soldier first arrives at a new village, first thing he'll look for is a stable to rest the horses. Right after that is a blacksmith. The last thing we do is take care of ourselves, sleep and food, you know. Anyway, how come you're still in the village? Most of the craftsmen left it already. Not a lot of work to do here, and I imagine the risks of staying are considerable, no? I was born here, and I'll die here. Nobody can banish me. Whoever tries to will be sent directly to Svarag. Ha! Ah, let them threaten him. Besides, I like it here. In peaceful times, this is the best place to be. I don't like crowds and cities. Here the folks are intense, raging but honest and simple. Not counting those newcomers, of course. They're all sorts, good and bad. Very good, because I precisely came regarding one of the locals, R. Paul Munatir. He tells me you won't repair the min windmill. What's the problem? R. Paul, you managed to find the worst one. Huh. He's currently the only provider of bread in Cordon's Fall, so he raised his prices. Do you know how much he charges for a loaf of bread? He's already rich. All the Muneteers are. But now they want more. It's his right to rip off his customers, but it's my right to refuse to help him do it. Sizal, don't be unreasonable. I have never met a blacksmith who wasn't honest, fair, and hardworking. If you don't repair the windmill, a lot of your villagers will suffer, and all Paul Munitz here would not be the only one to be blamed. Hmm. I must admit you have a point, but I can't stand that puffed-up pig Munitz here. Huh? The problem he has with the windmill is something even a woman can fix. Oh, it's boy. always the same problem. I don't want to be responsible for the suffering of my neighbors or make personal gain from this situation. And I definitely don't want to have any dealings with that man. Here's what we can do. I'll give you the tools and instructions on how to fix the windmill, so you can do it yourself. Okay? There, take them. Okay, I understand. A lot of people will be grateful. Receive tools. Um, 
And you have like double bladed sword. Very expensive recipes. Okay. Well, back to the uh, windmill. Just up this way. Wow, I'm down to three HP. Let's use this healing spell. Boom. Huh. <laughs> Guess we did pick the right uh, icon for it. Restored me to 13. That's pretty cool. Okay, so. Come up here to the windmill. Did I look in these boxes? There's that one. No, I didn't. Copper ore, scroll of gladiator's mask, chipped pearl. Got our tools. What a great favor you've done for this whole town. Who cares about Renault? I won't pay attention to his constant nagging about my bakery, but I will give you a few of my best products. There's none finer to be had. <laughs> All right, got three breads. I didn't remove tools. Nice. Show me what you have for sale. Oh. You've got food. And some dye. Okay, very good. All right, so can I sell you the battle halberd? The pants. I can't sell you the pants. Um, Northern Mean, Rakia. Sell you the Rakia. Chipped Emerald for 31. Wolf fangs for six apiece. White widow's fangs. Battle staff. Um, spear. Oh, we can make the spears next. These are two of the same recipe, so let's sell one for 155. Bow, two-handed hammer. Um, mead. Empty water skin. Don't know what that could be for. Chipped pearl for 43. Wow, pretty major spear right there. Chipped pearl for 43. Lesser wolf fur. So all. Gladiator's helm. We can just sell that. For nine. Chipped pearl for 43. Scimitar, we can sell that pretty much. For 64, Warhammer. Um, 14 damage to two handed mace. Cray versus Undead. Um, Battle Spear. We'll just sell that for 227. Two, wow. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get rid of that. I think. We'll hang on to that. Elven bread, copper ring recipe, double bladed sword recipe. Takes eight weapon smithing, but is blessed by Svarog. Same with this bow. Right. Staff of purification recipe. Magical chainmail, heart leaf. We don't know what its magical properties are. Man, we got a lot of stuff. Medium silk and thread, just sell it. Now we need more iron thorn. All right, very good, very good. Got three breads. Um, let's go ahead and put the breads down here for the uh,
for the holy water. Nice, some more quests completed. The baker and the blacksmith taken care of. Let's see. What's the next marquee quest, I wonder? I think we taught we did the quest for the people he sent us to. Um Let's See if he says anything new. Come here. I need your assistance with Saber Grolanden. Who is he? One of the villagers? Saber is a ranger who lives in the nearby woods, toward the North Forest. He likes the seclusion, but comes to the village every week to replenish supplies. It's been a while since we last saw him. <laughs> the woods can be dangerous. I heard fearsome creatures like deerts inhabit these woods, not to mention wolves, skitter skittlers, spiders, and other unfriendly beasts. Saber's reliable and can take care of himself. He knows every blade of grass from here to the Arden Mountains. In fact, I sent Captain Salavan and his men to talk to him about the beasts in the mines and other problems. Captain Salavan and the Royal Guards are capable of taking care of themselves. I don't think anyone could take them off guard. Um, I see, but they will find him then. I have great confidence in Captain Salavan. I know Salavan raised you and you look up to him. But he's prone to mistakes, like everyone else. You should go to Saber's cabin and look for him, and also for Salavan and his men. All right, I hope you will provide me with directions and perhaps some equipment that will come in handy. Your duties are here in Cordon's Falls, so make every attempt to expedite your return. Don't let me keep you. Yes, my lord, good day. He did not give us anything. Any news from Saber Grolanden? Hmm. But that's our next quest. Obviously. Um, can we talk to this person yet? No. We need Iron Thorn. Alright, so we've got to go out. Let's try coming out this exit up here. And looking for some iron thorn. I know it's nighttime and all, but wait, do you have iron thorn maybe? No, you have weapons, broadsword. What am I using as a weapon? I forget. It's not the scimitar. Oh, it is a scimitar. this way and see what we can do. Let's heal again. Is that Iron Thorn right there? Mm, blooms at dawn. Fault. Oh, this is the cemetery. No, wait, was there anything up the cemetery that we didn't complete? We can go through the cemetery, I think, and... about the other side like this way I think <laughs> yeah 
Camp Southern Fair on Plains. to 7 HP. Got him. Only 27 XP. Let's use our healing spell. Iron Thorn? Skill too low. I think that's Iron Thorn. I thought putting a point into herbalism would give us the skill necessary to do it, but there's a little cave here. I don't think we can collect Iron Thorn yet. Grab the Sonora. Twenty-two XP. Nasty. bonus versus fighting spiders too. Dang, I'm down to 4 HP. Um, dang. I just ate a roasted meat. Mm, I'm done for. Another roast of meat. Come on. Dang. Well, I don't know how we're surviving this. Oh my gosh. Used all my roasted meat, but. Getting, being well off with all our, these things we're grabbing. Um, what is this? Oh, an ice turret. I didn't recognize it at first. Boom, 27 XP. Uh, eat a bread. Eat a bread. Nah. Uh -huh. Where did I quick save at? Oh, I came up here. Hit the ice turret. Bread. Oh, here they come. Oh, here comes one of them. Got ya. Got ya. It's killer when our HP doesn't regen because of a curse.
Well, they don't have anything. Huh. Eat another bread, I guess. We've got to find the, uh, the shrine that we can pray at to get rid of these curses. This is really killing us. I don't know why I came like this against three of them. We're in trouble. Got a little bit of slowdown. Oh boy, we're gonna die. Yeah, let's drink a potion if we can. Mm. Let's see if a potion will help. Ah! Come on, you bums. Got you. Got you. Got you. Run. Eat another bread. Some sort of... lagging influence up here, some sort of effect. Boom. Bunch of webs. Nice. Let's grab everything. Nice, bunch of cool stuff. Little chest. Oh. Oh no, we've got two HP left. He's gonna kill us. Come on. Oh no. Ah! Well, our quick save was right here. Let's, um, just eat a roast meat. I could have healed myself with a... my spell. Scroll of crafting a sword. Level 710 damage and a rusty key. Nasty. There's another spider over here. Where is it? There it is. Oh, darn. Mm. Come on. Boom. Nothing. Spiders everywhere. Everywhere. Alright guys, we're going to look over here a little bit more. Huh, nothing in any of these. Oh dang. I played myself. One. Ah. Uh, tried to be the hero. Dang. Rusty key and a cold runestone this time. Decent amount of health. Mmm, bunch of more coming. Drink another 
potion, I guess. I hate using my potions, but... Oh, they took me down anyway. Uh, Alright, let's use a faith scroll. And then use my faith to heal up again. Once we hit 27 faith... There we go. <laughs> Come on. Ah. It's nice being up around 20 HP. Keep right on top of it. Boom. Got an abandoned house here, or taken over house. Nice. We'll definitely look in there. Probably next episode. I'm sure more spiders are going to be coming down if we walk in here. Let's see, we've been playing 41 minutes, so I'll wrap it up here and say thank you for joining me, guys. Stay tuned because more is definitely to come. We're going to explore this area more and check out, kill more spiders and check out what's inside the abandoned house. Should be fun, so hope you had an enjoyable episode 10. And be well, live well, stay well, guys. Much love, peace, and joy to all of you. And tune in next time because we're going to keep exploring and having fun together. So see you guys then. Peace.